Today I'm going to demonstrate for you guys how to perform a pistol squat. Now a pistol squat is an amazing exercise to help you build leg strength, to work on your balance, but to also help you discover any muscle imbalances you might have in your lower body. Another great thing about this exercise is it's going to also help to correct those imbalances the more you do the exercise. So the main muscles that we're going to be working today are going to be your glutes, quads, and hamstrings, but keep in mind you're also going to be utilizing your core and your calves to help with balance and stability throughout the exercise. Begin the exercise standing with your feet shoulder width apart, extend both arms out in front of your body, and contract your core as tight as you can. Once in position, begin to lower yourself to the ground while you lift and extend your right leg forward. Keep your core and glutes contracted throughout the entire movement for stability and use your extended arms to help with balance. Begin to lower yourself to the ground and as soon as you descend all the way to the floor, push through the heel of your left foot to return to the starting position and repeat. If you cannot perform this movement with your body weight alone, you can modify the exercise with the following progressions. For progression one, you're going to position a plyo box about four inches behind you. Once in place, perform the movement as you normally would, except now you will sit on the plyo box to help with stability at the bottom of the movement. Be sure to not rock or use momentum when you push up from off the plyo box to return to the starting position. Challenge yourself by using a plyo box that is lower to the ground as you become stronger. For progression two, you're going to utilize a plyo box to help simulate the bottom position of the pistol squat. Place your right foot up on top of the box and with as much control as possible, push through your heel to bring yourself to the top position of the movement. Be careful to not use momentum to get yourself off the ground and if you have a hard time with this progression, find a lower plyo box. For progression three, you're going to utilize a sturdy pole or a tool such as a TRX to help assist you with the exercise. Try your best to loosely grasp the pole or TRX and only rely on it when you absolutely need it. In our last progression, progression four, you're going to grab a light dumbbell and use it to help balance yourself throughout the movement. Hold the dumbbell with both hands and extend your arms out in front of you, keeping the weight over your foot. I hope you guys enjoyed this exercise demonstration. If you have any more questions about the exercise, you can leave a comment in the comment section below or join us in the forum section over here on scotthubbardfitness.com. If you want to add this exercise to your workout routine, try adding 12 to 15 repetitions per side to your next leg workout, three or four sets. For more great tips, exercises, routines, and recipes, be sure to join us on scotthermanfitness.com. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys. Let's try, try that again. <laughs> <laughs>